Hey guys, it's Milma here with another Xcode tutorial. In this Xcode tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to add a duration label uh, to your sound project so you can actually see what the current time of the song you're listening to is. So much like a new music player app where you're watching it and you can see the current time of the song, which is like, I don't know, four minutes, five seconds. Um, so what we're going to need for this is obviously an IB outlet, IB outlet for a UI label. Uh, and I'm going to call this sound label and what we're going to do um, we don't have to do this but what I'm going to do it anyway is that we're going to add a void called uh, update I don't know it doesn't matter what you call it but I'm going to call it update label like so and the reason for that is is because we're going to need to call the code that will be put in here um, a numerous times throughout the app so we're going to need to put it into the void update slider method we're going to need to put it in the uh, change position method. Um, so instead of copying and pasting code, we're going to store it in one universal void and we'll then call that void. So that's why I put that there. So in the .m, we're obviously going to need to put our void here. So uh, void, and then I think it was called update, uh, update label, like so. Um, so in here, I'm going to put our code. Now before I do so, I'm just going to explain briefly what we're doing. So what we're actually going to do is get our sound.currentTime and I don't know if you've ever NS logged this. In fact, let me show you. I'm going to NS log the sound.currentTime to show you what I'm talking about and I'm back in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back and I've literally just NS logged it or printf'd the sound.currentTime so you can actually see what I'm talking about. So if I click play here, you will see down here we're getting some really weird decimals. And this is because the the uh, the sound dot current time is splitting the actual song length up into segments, um, so you can uh, so it will just split it into a hundred basically. So if I go all the way up to here, you can see out of one hundred sixty seven, one hundred sixty eight, one hundred sixty nine. Um, so basically, what it does is it prints every second of the song. So it will split every second of the song, and it will give it a number. So as we know, uh, well, I, you won't know, but this song is about two minutes long. Now, if you convert two minutes into um, seconds, then it will it will equal that. So it's like 170 seconds or something like that. And also, you'll notice there's loads of decimals on the end. So the whole purpose of what we're going to be doing in a minute in the update label method is converting this current time into minutes for us to use also into seconds because we need to get rid of the decimal for us to use. So we're going to be doing all sorts of stuff to get rid of the decimal number. We're also going to be doing stuff to convert this into minutes instead of the seconds it is. Um, so yep, yeah, I'll write all that out and I'll get back to you when I'm done. Okay guys, I'm back and as you can see I've written quite a lot in this update, uh, update label. But I'm going to go through it now and tell you which bit's doing which bit. So as we know, as we just saw, the sound.current time is a decimal. And I'm going to store that as a double. Uh, you can store it as a float if you want, but a double is going to be, that's what it's going to be stored as. And the reason it's going to be a double, which is another form of an integer, is because doubles can support uh, decimal endings. So as you can see here with the int, if we try and add a decimal to that int, it won't work. It will just be 5. If we give it 5.5, it will just be 5. So we're going to have the double here called current time, and that will be our sound.current time. Then we have an integer called minutes, and we also have an integer called seconds. As I just showed you earlier, the sound.current time shows you the current seconds. So to get the seconds into minutes, we divide by 60. So current time divided by 60, and that will give us our answer. Now, uh, now to explain this weird floor and trunk thing, um, these are basically math methods within Objective C uh, that basically cut the decimal end off. So it will, with our answer, it will cut the decimal end off. That's all it will do. It will cut the decimal end off whatever answer comes out of here. Um, now, as you can see, there's both floor and trunk. They do exactly the same thing. You can put floor, you can put trunk here instead of floor, and floor here instead of trunk. It will still cut the decimal end off. It will do the same thing. I just used both of them to show you they were both there. 
And if any of you know what the word truncate means, which I'm pretty sure most of you will do, uh, but truncate means to shorten. Um, so that's why it's called trunk. It's short for truncation, um, to short something, uh, shorten something, sorry. So I've already explained the minutes math. That's current time divided by 60. And then to get the seconds, we're going to do current, current time, take away the minutes, which is up here, times by 60. Uh, because the current time will equal more than that, so we want to take the minutes away, and that will get us our current actual seconds. Um, so yeah, and in here, this is just setting the text of the sound label. Um, so it goes, if seconds is less than 10, um, we're going to put the sound label dot text to equal this and otherwise it will equal this. Now the difference between this one and this one is this little zero here. And that's because if it's less than 10 it's going to be 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. So if we don't have the zero here it will just have the minutes and then it will have the seconds. And without the zero it will look a bit weird just having 9 there by itself because normally you'll see 0, 9 and then it will go on to 10 so it has to be double figures. Um, so yeah, and then here as you can see it doesn't have the zero because it's already got double figures. It will look a bit weird saying 0, 11, so you don't put that there. Um, and these percent i's here are standing for an integer, so it will pass the integer method in. So the first integer is going to be our minutes and the second integer is going to be our seconds and that's the same for each one. So I know that's a tiny bit complicated maybe, uh, but it's basic math, that's all we're doing. You just need to understand why we're doing it. Um, so that's why I told you there. Um, and as I said, we're going to be printing this. Uh, we're going to be using this method throughout our app. So we're going to need to put it in the update slider method. So when the song uh, gets updated, it will get updated every second. So we're going to self update label. So every second it will update the label to the current time. And also when they move the slider, we want it to update as well because as they move the slider they're changing the time so if the label doesn't change then it will look slightly weird um, and the last thing we need to do is go into the reset sound method and we need to change the sound label uh, dot text to equal uh, zero oops zero dash zero zero because when they reset the sound it will go back to zero so that's why we need to set it to zero um, so I believe that's it. That is everything we need to do um, other than set it up in Interface Builder, which I've already done here, dragged out a label, connected it to Files Owner. So I believe we can build and run here and watch our label update. So we can play. And as you can see, our label starts updating with the current seconds. Um, and as you can see, when it's below 10, uh, it has the zero there. Because otherwise, if you didn't have the zero there, it looks slightly weird. But as it goes above 10, it comes back. And let me just zoom up to a bit here. You can see as I move it around, I can see the exact time I'm on, rather than it just staying still. So you can see I can drag it around here. Let me go up to about 50 so you can see it at the minutes. And you can see the minutes go on. The if statement comes back into play to put the zero there. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how you add a duration label to your app. So I hope you enjoyed, um, I hope that, that was fine, <laughs> I hope you understood everything that was there. Um, so again, thanks for watching, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at FailCakeApps, I'll be posting everything that's going on with our tutorials and stuff. Um, don't forget to click on some of the adverts in my videos because they always help. And don't forget to, well, comment, rate and subscribe. So again, thanks for watching and see you in my next tutorial.